Fouten, wat de mens op een morgen van de Cameron Oliver schopt, dus wat hij schopt eigenlijk niet kan bekosten of niet. Daar is hij, Ferry Ferrara. En ik denk hoewel er ook gezegd wordt dat die reel met Subiki discretie toegepast kan worden, rechter daar niet gebukket niet. Met andere woorden, dit was eenvoudig Freddy Ferrara wat voor omhoog gegaan het. En die scheidsrechter het geen oomlik te twijfel niet. Het is binnen trefafstand Oliver wat reeds 14 punten aangetekend het vanmiddag. Wat gaan kijken of hij dit 17 kan maken. En die voorsprong van Transvaal nog verder kan rekken. Bijna, bijna, tien hier op paal vast. Wordt er niet aan gekregen door Gavak Noetse. Oliver wat werkelijk bij een voortreffelijk schop van Marag. Hierdie keer was die korrel net, net niet aan nie. En die WP haal aas hem. Ja, die WP kan baie gelukkig wees, maar het is verbazend hoe baie fouten hulle van Marag gemaakt het. Werkelijk ongedisciplineerde fouten. En uh, ek dink dis al rede hoe kom hulle op die stadium so ver achterloop. Neil Hugo werd oorstuur, Freddy Ferrara, Michael Duplessis, Kobus Burger, binnenkant sy kwartlijn, en pas Rademeyer. Hy gaan die WP met daarie in probeer terugjaag. Dwing een inskop af, van die kwartlijn af. Ja, daar is baie hard en ernstig gepraat tijdens rusttijd, dier al by kante, maar vooral die westelijke provincie. Het nog lang, nadat die transvaanders al opgebreek het, kringiekie gemaakt. En uh, ik kan verwachten dat we in die tweede helft gaan proberen om daar die achterstand in te halen. Wal Bartman weer bij je prominent. Weer weer wat boel en vader. Weg komt dan van de kwartlijn af. Starig maar zeker. Westelijke provincie. Waar die voordeel krijgt. Nou ja, dit is Wal Baartman en Adrian Richter waar daar laatste opstaan met baie hard speel. Die drie los voorspelers van Transvaal wat vanmiddag werkelijk baie goed speel. Onder een kombaas toegemaak kan word. WP man is een beetje stiller vanmiddag. Freddy Ferrara, Michael Duplessis binnen sy kwartlijn. Is nie ver nie, maar is veilig. Maar het lijkt minstens of die WP my nou wil zeker maak dat hy elke bal uitskop. Hij heeft wel niet zoveel so afstand in, maar hij maakt zeker dat hij bal uit is. Die jong 21-jarige hakker van Transvaal, Sean Gage. Wat ingooi, maar dat is weer Gert Smal. Freddy Ferrara. Transvaalers wat van bij goed daar zien wat hij wil doen, verhoed dat hij het weg krijgt. En dan wordt die bal ook vast in die westelijke provincie van Andrew Patterson. En hij is weer een transkop aan Transvaal. En Oliver, hoewel dit een baie, baie schuin skop is, een moeilijke in hierdie. Die gaan kyk, om ons kyk net hoe dit daar gebeur. Dit is Andrew Patterson met daar op die bal val. En dan trek hem daar met die voete nader en dan gaan die handen. Die sien hoe hy hou vast. En meneer Smith Belton wat besluit het dat hij dit niet mag doen nie. En het is Cameron Oliver wat aanle om te kijken of hij drie punten kan bijvoegen. Oliver, tref hem goed, maar iedere keer gaat het niet daar wees nie. Dat is een banjerskynskop. En uh, dit is die westelijke provincie, Sekala Skols, wat kan inskop van die kwartlijn af. Skols, wordt hier ingewacht door Warren Brits, maar dat springen daar in die handen van Michael Duplessis. Hugo van As, wat voor hom daar baie hoogvat. Weer wat indrukwekkend vader. Freddy Ferrara, Michael Duplessis, Janny Breed, wat hier in een veel positie staan, wat gaan dek. En als Karel Duplessis weer kom, is het een baie goeie skop hier vir die achtste man, Janny Breed. Nek is het dekkingswerk kom doen vir Transvaal. Maar de westelijke provincie is in die halfgebied van Transvaal, vinnig ingegooi. Maar dit was die Transvaalers vir haar omkant gegaan het, die Smith Belton met beduie, vinnig ingegooi door die westelijke provincie. En die transvalers wat so bykie daar om kant gevang is en onmiddellik kan ons kols wat nader kom. Ja, Barend Brits sal ons nou sien daar het voor die bal die handen verlaat het van Heli Goethe al in hom kant positie oorgegaan. 
Why have we beslissen na die risk uit zeggen? Ja, dat is een puntenverschil in hierdie stadium van uh, 12 punten. En uh, dit is die westelijke provincie, ze kan als wat het bij graag minder zal wil maken. Hier vroeg in die tweede helft, kan als Kools. Dus een woe in hierdie, Kools het omgedraai en die achterstand krimp. Net 7 minuten bestreken in een toernaf 12. Maar die WP zal definitief nou alles in het vermoeid doen om uh, die achterstand nog verder te laten klim, krimp. Ik moet zeggen dat waar het op het stadium 21-0 achter was, lijkt zaken daarom nou bij beter voor alle. Aan ieder skilluk, 21-12 lijkt bij beter als wat uh, die telling vroeger was. En het uh, zal waarschijnlijk voor die WP ook haar die tikkie extra 4 geven. Om met groter doelgerichtheid in te klim. Transval wat niet zal kan bekostig om te verslap nie. Neil Hugo wat niet behoorlijk handen bij krijg nie. Transval wat het benut. Drijf indrukwekkend. En Boesman de Toei wat ook daar prominent was. Hij natuurlijk hier in die plek van Dion Viljoen. De Viljoen Visser wat bij goed sprang. Michael Duplessis was binnenkant zijn kwart gebied. Warren McCann net in positie. Duplessis, Michael Duplessis wat zo so bikkie sukkel met zijn buitenlijn schoppen. McCann wat van Michael Duplessis beproef. Hij is buitenkant zijn kwart gebied. En die ander van Janny Breed, drie keer. Maar ja, zo wordt zo so bikkie drijvenkies gespeeld. Michael Duplessis wat voor homself niet bij het tijd gaan gaan nie. Maar die transfase voorspelers is daar bij om en hierdie keer maak hij geen fout nie. Michael Duplessis. Transvalers wat in die eerste helft werkelijk baie goed gevaar het. En die westelijke provincie geschud het. Kan hulle hierdie voordeel wat hulle gekry het hand af. Kaat draait wat soebiekie huiver, paar water wat voet bijkry. Warren McCann wat in besit betrap word. Adrian Richter, aan wordt kop ongesteek ook door Dion Lotter. Kovis Kirsten met baie hard werk. Bali Smart is daar bij om te ondersteun. De Villier Visser wat hand bij kry. Freddy Ferrara, Michael Duplessis. Wordt die bal onderskep. Weet weer wat steeds indrukwekkend drijf. Die tweede helft het baie beter lijkt as in die eerste helft. Freddy Ferrara wat sukkel om om daar uit te kry. Jovis Burger wat het bij een moeilijke aanvang in die onderbeheer kan krijgen en wat sê meneer Smith Belton? Ja, dit is al die hoeveelste keer dat Michael de Plessie een baie lang aangeer uitgeer daar naar buiten toe en die hoeveelste keer dat het nie akkeraat was nie. Nie werkelijk Jovis Burger sy skil daar het die bal aangeslaan het maar toch die WPS sy bal aan die skram en hulle wen om baie mooi. Teruggespeel na Stian Strauss, Paarwater wat optel. Goed neergetrekt door Adrian Richter, dus weer Freddy Ferrara. Hij moet bij goed opgehouden worden. Dus Freddy Ferrara, wat die transpaal is, een kant betrapt van de bekjani slaat. En die westelijke provincie is degelijk terug in die wedstrijd. Ja, dan hebben die afgelopen vijf minuten drastisch hier veranderen in die wedstrijd. Bij een mooi drijfspel geweest daar, die, die westelijke provincie. Freddy, wat ja, maak of hij wil uitgeven naar buiten toe. Tussen alle transpaalers, die eerst snij. Niemand na bij hom nie en hy draaf mooi vir een baie mooi drie. Nou ja, dit is Kalan Skols. Met vier punten bij die westelijke provincie het 16 vrie Ferrara, vier drieën, speel vir Hamiltons. En Kalan Skols, die voeg nog twee punten bij. En so lyk sake met net 12 minuten verstreek in die tweede helft, eeuwenskielik net drie punten verskil. Daar het het begin, word al weggekry door Neil Hugo, Freddy Ferrara met een groot gaping daar voor hom. Sean Gage wat te vergeefs probeer duik daar en Freddy Ferrara maak geen fout nie. Ja, rustig was het 21-9. Ja, 
Ewerskelijk, net drie punten verschil in die bekende province Kreet. Die wordt hier uitgeschreeuwd door die skare, of een deel van de Latians trouwens wat goed zit. Gert Smal wat ondersteun, WP wat indrukwekkend lijkt. Andrew Patterson prominent, verder gevoerd door de Vilheervisser. Kobus Kirsten wat goed ondersteun, Adrian Richter wat onderskep. Gaas Rijk wil het in die handen kry. Sean Gage daar in een veel positie en een baie goeie rolskoppie van hom. Met die kwartlijn van die westelijke provincie wat wink. Maar WP is een voorspeler, Everskielik is terug in die prentie. Ja, baie beslis, het lijkt me dat hier altijd besluit dat hulle die bal nou eerder naad bij aan die, aan die voorspelers gaan houden. Die voorspelers eerst gaan drijven van die bal. Tweede fase of derde fase gaan afdwing en dan met die achterlijn gaan slaan. En uh, dit was baie duidelijk geweest dat uh, die drie wat Freddy Ferreira gedruk het, uh, het die weer voorspelers, die transvalers, mooi op een knop getrek. En toe Freddy breek maar die bal was aan iemand bij om te verderig mee. Achter storm daar hier Sean Gage. Die gal doet plezier en Fafa Kutse wat baie moet verdedig voor Albert Levertes. En Transvaal die vecht terug. Wel daar Sean Gage weer sy waarde as een baie goeie haker naar voren gebring. Hij is baie vinnig, hy plaas baie druk van voor op, op vooral by die lijn staan op een loskakel. Hy kan baie ongelukkig wees dat hy drie nie gekry het nie. Sean Gage wat Daar van Natal afkom, Natal sy laars kolespan gespeel. Maar wie onlik is dit die WP wat ons aandag nodig het, Freddy Ferrara. Krijg dit weg achter toe na Callas Kools onder groot druk. Die binnenkant sy kwart gebied, Warren McCann wat nekies onder het inkom. Transvaal wat die die bal kan benut, te lang aangeen na Henpas Rademeijer. Hy het vermaakt om kloot saal sy buitenkant en is Henpas Rademeijer wat sal verdeerd weer gaan in my haal in die lijn, ja. Hier die heel achter van Transpaal. Wat sy 35ste drie vir die Roy Bontes druk hier vanmiddag. Wel, dit was weer van die bal wat nie uitgeskop was nie. Warren McCann wat eerst wou, wou skep skop paal het toe. Maar mooi dink en die bal ver uitslinge na Hempas Rademeijer. Hempas Rademeijer wat twee manne voor hom het. Ontduik daar so mooi van Michael de Plessie en hy duik oor vir een mooi drie in die hoekie. Speler met baie vaart. Hier by die Goudstadse onderwijskollege gewees, daar sien jy om hy speel vir Rode Poort op die oomlik, 28 jaar oud, sy derde drie. Maar hy het reeds 35 drie en hou vir Transpaal gedruk. Sy 102e wedstrijd natuurlijk ook vandag vir Transpaal. Nou daar sien jy die kantlijn, het baie baie moeilik in een schijnskop vir Cameron Oliver, maar as hy hier kan slaag, gaan hier die grootskare vir hom groot applaus geen, het lyk na uitstekende skof. Hoeveel mens meer te sê, twee baie belangrike punte wat baie gevoeg word, 15 minuten verstreek is, 27-18. Wel, McCann, baie mooi vastgevat daar so, swak skop gewees daar die die WP. Lang uitkeer aan na Hempas Rademeijer. Hempas wat eerst kyk na die oppositie. Zwak verdediging aan die WPC kant, maar een baie mooi drie in die hoek vir Hempas Rademeijer. Ja, Michael Duplessis wat lelijk misgetast het daar. Dis die soort aangeer daar die wat Adrian Richter graag sal wil vergeet. Maar is Transvaal wat nou weer so'n bykie asemal 27-18. Kom hy uit, Freddy Ferrara, Gert Smal, Theon Strauss. VPS of voorspelers, baie meer prominent nou. Transvaal wat in die eerste helft er al dan kante toegespeel het, die bal punte toegevat het. Die WP op verskoning moeg probeer hardloop het. En die mate daar aangeslaag het, maar in die tweede helft het die WP wat met baie groter vuur speel. Hy skram kan nie lekker sy staan kry nie, ek moet sê dat Boesman die tooi hier aan die vastkopkant vir Transvaal natuurlijk baie gewig aan die Transvaalse pak voorspeler het verleen, hy is baie zwaar voor hy Die Anstraans kry dit weg, Freddy Ferrara, Michael Duplessis, Kobus Burger, Fafa Knutse, Talas Kals in die achterlijn, 
Dat is gevaarlijk. Neil Burger, baie sterk kan hy gespuit op die die bal. Maar as die westelike provincie wat toon met daar die beweging dat hulle bezigheid neem. Ja, hulle is hulle in een baie aanvallende positie, 5 3 van die doellijn af. Dus hulle bal om in te gooi in die lijn staan. Hulle kan die hele paar opties hier uitoefen. Hulle kan of een stevige bal in die middel van die lijn staan kry, of daar te sluit om achterom te skal. Neil Hilton wat goed raak gaat. Baie goeie bal daar gewees, wat die WP gewen het, baie goed gedrijf ook. Nou is het hulle bal om in te gooi in die skram. En wat baie mooi was daar, was die feit dat die WP laag ingegaan het, transpaal bykie recht op, en so bijna bijna die doelijn gehaal, maar het is Freddy Ferrara wat die teken gegeet vir Michael Duplessis, allemaal weet wat hulle moet doen. Achter toe, Michael Duplessis, na Callas Kols, weer in die achterlijn, goed verdedig, door hem pas Rademeijer. Karel Duplessis, Neil Burger wat kom werk soek in die diskant, na Michael Duplessis, en Duplessis is door en hy het om. Baie goed daar opgevolg, door Michael Duplessis, en ek moet sê, Karel Duplessis wat ook baie goeie werk gedoen het, om die bal vinnig op te tel, en na buiten toe uit te gee. Daar kom die bal van Michael Duplessis af. Kalaskoos wat mooi in die achterin inkom, maar goeie verdedig aan die transfase kant. Weer Freddy Ferreira wat by is, maar dat val die bal. Mooi gedink aan dier Karel Duplessis, Neil Burger wat amper, amper aan die heer kom. Maar vir Michael Duplessis aan die buitenkant kry, Michael wat sien dat die dekverdediging op, pom is. Duik net en hou oor vir een mooi drie. En as transfase beurt om kan jy uitraad te hou, die 27-18 word 27-22, daar sien jy Michael Duplessis. Sy eerste drie, Karibeker drie. En Kallas Kols. Belangrike skop vir hom hierdie. Haas vijf punte verskil in hierdie stadion. Skols die ene concentratie. Maar dit is nie daar nie. En so lyk dit met 19 minute sy speeltijd verstreek in die tweede halfte. 27-22 Kallas Kols wat al soveel keer hierdie seisoen vir sy span baie punte werp was, hier kom hy nou Michael Duplessis, dit is weer een van haar die lang aangee, hierdie keer is het Kallas Kols aan prachtige tijdsberekening, hy wacht vir Kobus Burger, Karel Duplessis wat baie nekies vir Neil Burger dop hou Burger wat in die bal in hart loop een baie sterk kerel hierdie, trek 2-3 transvaders, maak dit vir Michael Duplessis net so'n bykie makkeliker want die verdediging is bykie oorhoops. En hier is die westelike provincie na die afskop, waar die zwart en Tian Strans wat daar indruif, WP wat die losbal gaan kry. Freddy Ferrara, Michael Duplessis, Fafa Knutse, middelveld langs, nee, hulle is voor en toe. Nou ja, dit is so 20 minute wat verstreke is, in die tweede half te die transvalers voor 27-22, 20 baie belangrike minute wat oorblij en om vir u te vertel en te beskryf hoe die sake gaan verloop is Tjenderson en Gavin Cowley Well what a change we've had Transvaal taking a lead and being completely on top in the beginning up to 37 minutes and then in 13 minutes Western Province scoring 18 points coming right back into the pitch as they are at the moment, Kurmas Berger a very long kick right past Martin Knutzer and a difficult ball that's his try line just behind him and the man following up was the man who kicked the ball Kurbus Berger followed right up and Martin Knutzer not a bad effort from near his try line but it just shows the value of following up as we saw happen when Kurbus Berger made it a difficult situation for Martin Knutzer penalty to Western Province there Yes, that was given for tackling the man without the ball in that quick line out there that Western Province took. And Western Province in a position now with where cover scores can just narrow that lead somewhat. But although Western Province have shown a lot of character here, uh, we see again it looks like uh, Barabas Fenta who came charging through there from the wrong side. Western Province have shown a lot of character here in the second half in narrowing this lead. But really the difference between the two teams today has definitely been that Transvaal have made less mistakes than Western Province, particularly when it comes to kicking the ball out, out to touch. Well, Carlos Kols can narrow the gap by three points. It's 27-22 at the moment. And now it's 
So Western Province have scored two goals, three penalties and a try. Transvaal, two goals have dropped, four penalties and a try. So Western Province, three tries to Transvaal's two. Try scorers, Lawrence Oberholzer and Hempers Radom for Transvaal and for Western Province, Kovac Berger, Freddy Ferreira and Michal Duplessis. As mentioned by Oki Westhuizen a little earlier on, Western Province have decided in the second half to keep the game a lot tighter and, and in the forwards and set up second place from there and it's worked very well. The Transvaal with a slender two-point lead and a nice high kick out in Richter right up in the van taken there by Barrow Fenter tackled out by Gert Small. Western Province to throw in and a quick one, Freddy Ferreira back to Michel Duplessis Long one to Kurbus Berger, and he hasn't found touch under his Martin Knutz. A very difficult ball. He managed to knock it back inside. That was clever. And uh, all he could do was the rolling kick. As Carlo Duplessis and Papa Knutz were up very quickly on. Western Province have come back into the line outs in the second half. Andrew Patterson throwing in accurately. So well taken by Duplessis. And uh, Michal Duplessis, short one to Kurbus Berger, running into trouble. Now uh, he'll get the loose ball. Looks as though Western Province could control it. Transvaal desperately trying to wrest it from the referee, says that Nerva's going to get it. And uh, ball given to Transvaal. The Transvaal scrummer seems to be standing rather well since number 18, Busman de Toy, came on the field in place of the injured Dion Fulun, who looked like he had quite a bad leg injury when he left the field at half time. Uh, certainly, that's a heel against the head for Western Province. And uh, forward pass for Michal Duplessis. Referee waits for advantage. And uh, takes the line out. His Busman de Toy is not the most mobile of forwards, but he's very strong in the scrums. And uh, I think he's giving Kerbis Kirsten quite a difficult time on occasions. We'll watch the next scrum carefully. So it's going to be Transvaal to throw in. Sean Gage. Brown Brits in the front of the line out. And it goes beyond Lothra, but I think Western Province grabbed it. Freddy Ferreira to Michal de Blessis. Papa cannot see in a gap right through the gap. This is very dangerous. Back to Freddy Ferreira. Kurbus Berger rather. And the tackle. Advantage. Val Barfen trying to take advantage of Transvaal. But the referee has blown his whistle and said there was no advantage. He's going to call them back to the place where the knock-on took place. The Western Province in a very good position, but it will be Transvaal's ball. Garth Wright. Uh, watching the scrum very carefully. It's a solid scrum. Transvaal being shoved this time. Wheeling scrum. It's gone through 90 degrees. The referee has no option but to call for another scrum. So Transvaal can't concede another tight hit in front of their own post. Garth Wright back to Cameron Oliver and Oliver under pressure from Michal de Blasi did well. Cameron Oliver there. Transvaal haven't been getting nearly such good ball in the second half as they did get in the first half. Once again Patterson to throw in. That's Neil Hugo in the middle of the line out. And tapped back by Hugo. Ferreira to Duplessis. Near uh, Kurbus Berger. Out on the left to Carlo Duplessis. Cutting right in. Tackled by Sean Gage. Guzman de Toy there too. And good possession by Western Province. Michael Duplessis. That long pass again. Out of Papa Knutza. And he's broken through again. Looking to link up on the inside. He's got men with him. And that is Boris Schwartz to Patterson. Patterson will score. Patterson has scored. A beautiful try by Western Province. Lovely running by Papa Knutze. He saw the inside gap and he took it beautifully. And all he had to do then was to link up. Here it is again. Michal Duplessis. Now watch this long pass taken by Papa Knutze. He sees the gap and goes through it for all he's worth. Now he's going to link up with his forwards. There is Boris Schwartz, the Stellenbosch player. Andrew Patterson running into a good position on the outside and the hooker scoring a fine try. Full credit to Papa Knutze there, who we saw very little of in the first half, and uh, he, he broke through beautifully there, and it was good to see uh, so many of the forwards up with him there and got Patterson over for a try. 
Andrew Patterson, who is a very fine forward, apart from being an excellent hooker, he's pretty good on the loose. And ball falling over. Carlos Goltz asks the referee if he may replace it. And uh, Kurbus Berger decides to come and lend a hand, but Carlos Goltz says it's not necessary. Ball's not likely to fall over again. Carlos Goltz has kicked very well today. And that's another beauty. It's a lovely kick and through the middle. Both Carlos Goltz and Cameron Oliver have had a few really testing kicks and uh, they've shown a but they can really kick well under pressure. Papa Klitsa takes the right option here. Links up left on the left-hand side with his forwards. There we see De Villiers Fisser. And uh, Bali Swart beautifully up. Gives a, a reasonable pass for a forward. And out it goes to Patterson who scores a try. So Western Province take the lead for the first time today. After 28 minutes in the second half. 31 to 27. And that's Val Bartman. He's played 91 games for Transvaal. He was, in fact, the youngest forward ever to have played for Transvaal when he first got into the side. Adrian Richter waiting for it at the back, but he's dumped immediately as he gets it. And Patterson going back into the ruck. Freddy Ferreira, Michal Duplessis, and not finding touch. Martin Klutz has plenty of time. And there's that natural left foot. So left for play in this match, a matter of 12 minutes. And Transvaal 27 to Western Provinces 31. Western Province desperately need to win this point, this uh, game to put them into second place in the log table. And of course, whoever comes second to Northern Transvaal has a chance of playing the Curry Cup final. Adrian Richter at the back of the lineup, tackled by Michal de Blasie. Now they want to get it back. Got's right, Cameron Oliver, and out to Uber also. Hugo van Us, that little rubber kick again, taken well by Scholz. Tackled to, in, into the pictures, Hempers Rademeyer. Transvaal in the ruck, Val Bartman tearing in. Now they want to get it back from this ruck. West Province determined they won't. And uh, the referee says Transvaal killed the ball, and he's given the put into Western Province. I think we have a lot of tired forwards out there, uh, Check, but I must admit that the, the Western Province forwards have shown a lot of character in the second half and come back very, very well. And none other than Neil Hugo in particular, who I'm sure will be looking to add a, a Springbok blazer to his family household next next week. His wife, Lisa, of course, is a, a Springbok netball player. Well, as we say, all credit to Western Province. They have come back excellently. After being down 21-0, they're leading 31-27, and they are leading by four tries to two by transfer. We had an excellent curtain raiser when Transvaal under 20 uh, beat Western Province 19 points to 9 in that Midas Cup. And Transvaal with a chance of winning that Midas Cup. Star. There's that Barabas Fenter, Sean Gage, between him and Gus van der Toy. And uh, the referee has said we still want to hold play up. That plays on again. Guti van Ferreira waiting for it. Back to Michal Diplessy, under pressure from Garth Wright, who'd half charged the kick down. Hempers Rademeyer, and uh, Katzmal knows his laws, he was entitled to be there. And back it goes to Neil Hugo, but out the touch. The law, of course, is if a man has his kick charged down and it touches an opponent, then all other players will immediately put on side, and Katzmal took advantage of that. Katzmal, who's had a good game as well, he's a very experienced player, always in the thick of it and always dangerous when he's near the ball. Garth Wright and Oliver Artiuka van Us and nearly an intercept, but knocked on. That so easily could have been an intercept for Papa Knutza and he would have run the length of the field, but didn't quite manage to control it. That's the halfway line, and it's Transvaal to put in. Left for play about eight and a half minutes. Garth Wright, Channel 3 ball, being well protected. And Oliver gives back to Yanni Briet. Long one out to Hempers Rademeyer, but in front of him, and Hempers Rademeyer hoping for a lucky bounce, but the ball kept close to the ground and out to touch. 
Western Province have come back very well in the lineouts in the second half. They've been pretty dominant, especially on their own throw-in, as happens this time. Part of Arthur taking it from the tat. Goody Bon Ferreira, Michal Duplessis, challenged by Richter, and Hempers Radomir waits. Got plenty of time, and he decides to run. Beats Carl Duplessis, but he beat two men, but not the third. And Western Province surging forward. They'll want it. Freddy Ferreira says, let's have it. Kubis Kirsten doing good work. Back to Ferreira. Out to Tian Strauss. Tackle by right. Back to Ferreira. Ferreira dumped by Yanni Briet. Western Province with possession. Ger Small. Helped by Farwater. Kubis Kirsten. De Fissa. And that is Michal Duplessis with it. And number eight, Tian Strauss. And back it comes. Michal Duplessis out to Carlos Scott. Long one to Neil Berger. He's very fast and strong. He could score here. He's on his feet still. And a knock forward. Referee waits. But Carlos Colts cross with himself for that knock on. And I think there could be a hold up for injury. First aid men on the field. Not sure who it, who it is. But certainly Western Province are running beautifully with score. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on Transvaal at the moment, and I'm very surprised that Hempus Rademeyer didn't decide to kick that ball out. Colour scores there, out to Neil Berger, and Neil Berger beats one man, just about beats another, but he's, he's held up just short of the line, and unfortunately knocks the ball forward. And uh, that saves a dangerous situation for Transvaal. That's Bali Swart lying on the ground there, and uh, looking at him getting up very sluggishly, uh, we saw that thumping tackle just now from uh, from Yanni Briet on uh, Freddy Ferreira, and uh, he's played extremely well today, Yanni Briet. He certainly has enhanced his reputation. Well, you know, we could have an interesting situation. There is an occasion where a man could get sent off uh, on medical advice under Law 3 if uh, it's the, in the opinion of the referee that would be dangerous for the chap's health. Then he can be virtually sent off. But in those circumstances, of course, he can be replaced. Not like when he's sent off under the law in the foul play. So Transvaal under desperate straits. Province pushing them all over the place. That's the try line in the background. Province are going to get it. While Bartman in a, what looked very really close to an offside position, but the referee had seen the earlier knock on. We're talking about health, it looks like there's nothing wrong with Bali Swartz after that push in the scrum there. Well, he certainly had a great game. He was responsible for the one try scored by Patterson. And he's the most happy fellow, is Bali Swart, a great sense of humour. And left for play just five minutes. Western Province leading 31-27. And two points in the offing for them if they can keep it up. Cameron Oliver under a lot of pressure from Pardwater. And he did well there. That was a vital ball for Transvaal to win. It's just given them an opportunity to get a little bit away from their try line now, and uh, I'm sure that Western Province are going to be charging at them. Uh, Western Province's policy must be to try to play the rest of this match in the Transvaal half of the field, so that they get the opportunity of the odd shot at goal to make it absolutely safe. Freddy Ferreira, Michal Duplessis, standing pass, and Papa Knutze in the gap. Uh, well tackled this time. Knocked forward by Western Province. And they will scrum, but on the 22-meter line of Transvaal. That's Tion Strauss. He's had a good game. Yes, I think the uh, duel between Tion Strauss and Yanni Beert has been a highlight in the game. As uh, Transvaal lose this ball. He's ahead of, heel against the head. Michal Dittes in a dangerous position. He's going through into Neil Berger. Neil Berger will score. And that will tip the game without doubt. Two Western Province, a beautiful piece of work, but all credit to Andrew Patterson and his forwards for the surprise of a heel against the head and Michal Duplessis capitalizing on it very well indeed. Well, that started yeah. with Andrew Patterson and Michal Duplessis running wide there now and uh, Neil Berger takes the correct option once again, comes inside with little room to move on the outside, that takes the switch and uh, really his power from 10, 15 meters out, he's, un he's virtually unstoppable. And Carl Duplessis there must be very, very happy with his team. They've shown a lot of character, as I mentioned earlier, in coming back in the second half after being down 21 points to nine at half time. Well, that's Neil Berger's eighth try this year. And, of course, I think he's number two in the number of tries scored by Western Province. Carl Duplessis scored just more than he has. 
So Western Province lead is eight points, which means Transvaal must score twice. It could be ten points after this kick. And uh, no, not this time. So it is Western Province who are leading by three tries, by three goals, three penalties and two tries, to Transvaal's two goals, one drop, four penalties. And so it is two tries for Transvaal and five to Western Province. Here comes from behind the post. Watch Michal Duplessy turning on this field. A lovely dummy and a beautiful bit of work as Neil Berger comes inside him and uh, he just sees that try line. It's clever play from Michal Duplessy there, as we mentioned a bit earlier. Maybe he might have even been able to get over himself, but uh, seeing that Neil Berger was perhaps in a better position gave the ball to him. There's Guy Kebel. Here's a reserve. Perhaps a little unlucky not to be playing. He is a fine player. Gertzmoll going for the line. He's got a long run to go, but he's got support. Transvaal at a desperate defence. But uh, Western Province in their enthusiasm, knocking the ball forward. But they certainly are dominant in the forwards now. Province have played better and better. And when you consider that after 37 minutes play, uh, 34 minutes play, Transvaal led 21-0. And Western Province, a great comeback. Cameron Oliver. Transvaal have nothing to lose now. Van us out and flicked out to Martin Knutzer and chased by Neil Berger to Lawrence Oberholzer. Has Van us inside him. Not a good pass. Picked up by Carl Duplessy. Tackled by Val Bartman on the halfway line. In goes Oberholzer. Now who'll get the ball from the ruck? The referee says no one will. It is buried and they must scrum. Unlucky for Transvaal there. They're throwing caution to the wind now, which they obviously need to do and uh, with barely a minute's play left over plus referee's optional injury time I, uh, I think Transvaal are, are going to struggle to win this match well eight points the difference so Transvaal would have to score twice and that was what Western Province wanted they wanted to score that extra try so that it puts uh, Transvaal really out of range with one minute to go it's Western Province leaning by eight points 35 to 27 half time score was 21-9 to Transvaal Yanni Briet holding it. Last right weights. To Oliver. This is out of man. Uber also. Grab a kick to Cesar Warren McCann. He's very quick indeed. But Carlos Golson's experience is there. Martin Knutzer. And covering Neil Berger to side put the ball out to touch. So on the stopwatch, it is coming up to 40 minutes. In fact, it's 40 minutes now. Transvaal on the attack for the first time in quite a long period perhaps they would like a consolation try and as Gavin Crowley said they've, they've thrown caution to the winds there's nothing to lose if you're going to be beaten by eight points you might as well be beaten by a few more in trying to get the last try of the match Carl Bartman going in but uh, Western Province preventing the ball coming out now Transvaal probably will take a tap penalty here Three points is not much use to them. Here's a Garth. Garth right. Now what will they do? They've probably practiced a few moves. All the forwards together. Jan Lotter. Karl Bartmann. Give it to Janni Briet. Back the rack ball. And back it's coming. Cameron Oliver. A long pass out to Lauren Oberholzer. And Heppers right about going for the corner. Well tackled by Kalaskolz. He still got it. No, just didn't quite go over and he lost the ball. Knocked forward. Now the old old law would have said that could be a 22 if you lose the ball over the line. But the new law says that what happens in goal is the same as happens elsewhere. So it is a scrum with Western Province at in, just next to the own line. With Ivan Ferreira kicking himself over his forwards heads and that is the final whistle and Western Province after being down nine points to 21 at half time have come through to win this Curry Cup match by 35 points to 27 try scorers for Transvaal Lawrence Oberholzer Hempus Rademeyer two tries for Transvaal against five by Western Province so they were scored by Kurbus Berger Freddy Ferreira Michal Duplessy Andrew Patterson and the last one, Neil Berger. A great game, Gavin Carley. Yes, I think there's going to be a lot of happy faces down in uh, the Western Cape this evening. And uh, I'm sure probably amongst the national selectors as well. With so many 